Nice to catch you on the screens once again. My name is Anoka Besson and I have something exciting to show you. In today's video, we are going to learn two ways we can display Bible scriptures or Bible quotation into Vmix. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. So the first one, I'm going to display it in a lower third, which will show like this. Okay, so this means that as the preacher is preaching, then the Bible scriptures will be displayed beneath him. And the second one is going to be like this, as you are seeing on the screen. The, the picture will be captured on one side of the Vmix and then the Bible scriptures will be displayed on the other side of it, okay? So this is what I'm going to show you how to do this in Vmix and I know you love it and you're going to implement it at your church, okay? So if you're subscribed to this channel, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, the prime purpose of this channel is to connect you to the Day Gate Tower to learn a new school for yourself and your business. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then stick to the end of the video i'm going to reveal everything you need to know to do this okay okay guys welcome back as you watch on the video intro we are going to display bible versions or we are going to capture bible versions to Phoenix. okay the software we are going to use for this work is um bible show here this software okay it's a very powerful software that you can use for bible presentations at church okay it's a free software that have all the Bible versions if you come here, you have all the Bible versions you need, okay? So I'm going to leave the link in the description below so that you guys can download it and it's very lightweight, okay? It's about 19.4 megabyte lightweight software, okay? So I've recorded a little video about it on my uh, 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 YouTube page, how to download Easy Worship Opportunity. So guys, kindly check it out. A little video that I, I I explain and then walk you guys through most of the configuration you need to do in that software. So these are the software I'm going to use, and then you need internet connection as well. The first settings you have to do here is to go to configurations under destination, enable and their output. Quickly do this, okay? So um, before we can display our Bible in a lower third, okay. So come to easy uh, so come to the bible show software okay when you come to the bible show software on the team under teams under teams here click on download okay so when you come to download you are come to da download a team here so select uh collection six team collection six okay so the team collection just have templates of lower tier that you can use okay template of lower tier that you can use so this is what we are going to need so you need to download this before you can proceed okay so after you download it if you don't like the the the, the, the background of the of the team you can create your own okay guys so um so the lower third background okay the lower third background image if you don't actually like it and you want to change it okay so this is how you can easily do it so click on the configuration tab okay and then come to background select the background then go to browse okay so on the browse you see a lot of templates in this here so uh, select the image you want okay so the one you want is this one lower third 15 okay so just uh, right click on it and then open it so when you open it it's going to appear like this okay when you open it's going to appear like this so just uh, save it and then copy the size of it and then uh, uh, whatever image you want to work with go to photoshop and then design it according to the size of this one then you can easily use it to replace this one over here okay so this is how quickly you can change the lower third background if you don't actually like the one the bible show is giving to you okay so after you are done with your configurations okay after you are done with your configurations let me put the bible scripture here the solar chapter 1 verse 1 okay so let it go live so guys you can see so that's chapter one verse one is here okay so let's capture this thing into the vmix software okay so let me close this here so what you have to do is click on add inputs uh click on ndi output desktop capture ndi or desktop capture then click on the ndi bible show ndi as you can see here then click on okay okay so um, as you can see it has actually shown here so all what you have to do is that when the preacher is preaching or something like that let me play this video so as the preacher is preaching you can just overlay it on him like this okay so you can see that it is actually overlaid okay so let me show you guys this my machine as my computer is actually running very slow guys so pardon me so 
you can see that the depth is changing. You can see that the scripture is changing. You, see, like, you can see that we are, ha we are now in Exodus chapter 2. Okay, so let me change it again for you guys. So you can see that it's chapter 3. Mm -hmm. So it's actually updating life into the VMIX software. Okay, so this is how you can easily capture lower third into VMIX. Okay, so guys, let me show you the second one how you can capture the preacher at one side and then uh, uh, the Bible quotation or the Bible scripture at the other side. So, all what you have to do is that you have to go to um, Bible show and then you change the team. Okay, you have to change the team. So, I've gone ahead to to customize my team I will be using so let me go to show one show one uh, no. so, uh, so this show one so this is what I want to use for my customization okay this is what I want to use for my customization uh, so show one so guys you can actually download some of those backgrounds and then you can customize it like you have done here okay so if you watch my video i'll leave the link in the description below i'll show you how to do all this okay so um let's go so right now we have our bible scripture here and then we have the preacher here okay you have the preacher here so what you have to do is so what you have to do is go to add input add input and then come to virtual set click on virtual set virtual set good so scroll down to scroll down until you see this virtual set okay this one uh, they have the w double box news so select it and then open it here okay good so so this is our virtual set okay this is what we are going to use okay so change the the, the camera on camera change the time to fast f okay and then let's go to the setup and then if you have a background you can use it, but we are not having any background so we are going to use box one for the bible script display okay so box one you can see that it have appeared here box one for the bible display here and then we are going to use box two for the preacher okay you can see okay so guys what you have to do is that um you switch back to camera when the preacher is preaching and uh, 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 he's preaching he have not mentioned any bible scripture just click on the down button and then it will zoom in full scale for you okay it will zoom in the full scale um, um video for you okay it will it will, it will zoom in the full scale video for you then when he mentioned the bible scripture just click at the the box on top of it and then it will capture the bible scripture with the preacher at the same time so this is how you can easily do this okay so guys this is what i want to show you in this video and i hope you love it and then you are going to practice it okay it's not anything difficult it's very cool that you know how to do this so then you can implement it at your church okay so um this is all what i have for you for today and i'll come again with another great tutorial next time so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here and then i'll see you guys thank you